Before this video starts, please subscribe to my channel because only less than 1% of viewers are subscribed. A special thanks to Hyundai SM Raja for allowing me to film this car and information is provided in the description box below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of the 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 in the prime trim, dual tones, showing exterior, engine and interior. Here's the key fob, keyless type. This is the remote engine start feature standard, make sure the car is locked. And press this button here. because we're inside the building. This has auto power foldable side door mirrors. The car is locked. When you unlock it, the side door mirrors fold out. When you lock it, the side door mirrors fold in. If you press and hold on the unlock button, the driver's side window rolls down. The exterior colour is creamy white pearl with a black roof on top as part of the dual turn exterior. This has keyless entry feature, the car is unlocked. To lock it, just press this black button on the door handle. To unlock it, press the black button again. This has black leather upholstery with perforation in the middle, in the centre. As part of keyless entry, there is the keyless start button here. Four spoke level wrap multifunctional steering wheel with aluminium on the spokes. For transmission, the Stargazer is available with 6 speed manual on IVT. This is an IVT short front tension variable transmission. This has sport mode with manual shifting. When place the car in reverse, there, are, there is a reversing camera. Adjust the settings. Rear parking sensors. The button to deactivate the traction control, the button for the drive mode selection, mechanical handbrake. Now let's take a look at the exterior. inch dual tone style alloy wheels wrapped in from pole solace 20555 R16 tires this has LED reflector headlights along with this vertical LED daytime running light strip above the Hyundai badge and grill. The Hyundai Stargazer is a compact MP3, all low MP3, unveiled in Indonesia this summer. At the moment, it is sold only in Indonesia and there might be plans to sell the Stargazer in developing countries, for example Philippines. The Stargazer is based on the Hyundai Kia K2 platform. It underpins the Kia Cowans and Hyundai Creta. The Hyundai Stargazer made its introduction first in Indonesia last July with official sales began on August the 11th with four trim levels Active, Trend, Style and Prime Pricing starts at 252.3 million Indonesian rupees almost 50 million rupees cheaper than the Creta SUV 
all trims except the active have the option of the second rear captain seats, a 1 million option, and the Prime has the option of a dual turn exterior, a 1.5 million option. For the design, the Stargazer looks mind blowing. The side is space aged with giant side windows. The front has trapezoidal headlights, black squared grille, and a one piece long LED daytime running light bar, taking inspiration from its brother, the Staria. The rear is the most striking part with these extensive T shaped LED rear lights and the Stargazer lettering on the gloss black trim. Mobil MPV Monkin di Lupakan di Balahan Dunia Lion. Tapi tidak the Sini Indonesia Kana Mareka Sukai Genis Mobile Ini Mobile MPV yang terjual di tahun 2021 adalah lebih dari 299,000 unit dengan jenis low MPV merekili 73% dari semua MPV Kana Mobile Genis Muda di Navigasi Melalu Tempat Sempit di Indonesia dan terjangkau Hyundai Stargazer, the segment low MPV, to sedia di tuju atau anam jok, tela melihat reaksi positif dari pelanggan. Iti Stargazer terlihat sangat modern, iti punya feature blue link yang periksa dan kontrol mobil anda, dan iti cukup luas untuk membawa penuh keluarga. Gak ada buruk tantang Stargazer, walaupun, Iti lebih kecil panjang dan lebar dibandingkan Elantra Sedan. Let's take a look at the engine. For engines, the Hyundai Stargazer is available as a sole option. I'll explain now. Under the bonnet, is a Hyundai Smart Stream Gamma 2 one and a half letter inline 4 16 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine with multi point fuel injection. This engine is also Euro 6 compliant. This engine produces 115 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 144 Nm of torque at 4500 rpm. This has a 40 letter fuel tank and the Stargazer is a front wheel drive car. The front doors have hot plastic materials at the top and bottom. There is leather material in the middle. Four electric window controls. The driver's side window is the only side which has the automatic feature in both directions up and down window lock, central locking mirror control, this has power affordable side door mirrors, auto holding. Down below is a medium sized door pocket with cup holders. To the right of the steering wheel column, an exposed bit of storage for the driver, start stop button. Down below is a fuse box, bonnet release, automatic transmission, dual pedals, stargazer floor mats, fuel flat release. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments, rock line, seat height and the bar for sliding. The steering wheel has manual tilt and telescope adjustment, adjust it using the lever right here. On the steering wheel on the right spoke is the cruise control to adjust the multi-information display. On the left spoke is the audio controls, volume, seat track, voice control, select between the various media sources. Bluetooth accept call, star, asterisk button. The white star is the light fog light indicator control. This has automatic lights and automatic high beams. The left star is the wiper controls. This has a 4.2 inch MID TFT display controlled via these two steering wheel buttons. On the left is the speedometer with the fuel level. On the right is the web meter with the engine temperature. I think this is the driving assistance menu. You can adjust the warning volume driving attention warning and the other Hyundai Smart Sense safety features which I put in the captions. Driving menu, drive information since user settings, driving
driving assistant like I showed you before cluster cluster theme light store convenience units receptor to factory settings tire pressure I think that's it for the multi informational display it's quite simple to operate this the prime trim comes to standard with single zone automatic climate control temperature on the right fan speed on the left with circulation for defrost person zone setting AC automatic mode and off button it's this touch panel for infotainment this has an 8 inch touch screen this contains various media options Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and sound is provided via I think 6 speakers on the infotainment system before I show the touch screen on the left side is the seat track setup tuning knob on the right side radio media asterisk as well as the volume and power knob here's the infotainment system I'm going to test out the sound quality through here The sound quality sounds adequate, this is the USB audio menu Current song information playing, play pause, backwards or forwards the song Repeat, shuffle and bin Access the list here In the USB menu Sound settings You can turn on or off the beat What else do I have to show you? You can go back, this is the home menu It's customizable to your liking You can edit, edit it out Like that Let's go into all menus Kibla The compass For Indonesia Bluetooth telephone Phone protection This has voice memo, I already showed you in the Quetta Where you can record the voice Radio menu This has FM AM in media here are the media sources FM, Bluetooth, USB, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and AM valet mode, setup list of settings, this has onboard Wi-Fi, Blue Link general user manual, quiet mode Blue link Notifications, if there's any I think that's it for the infotainment system for the touchscreen The touchscreen is easy to operate, it is not difficult to use There is also ambient lighting in the exposed bit of storage area Down below the touchscreen is the has light switch Down below is the wireless charging area along with the USB input for media there's also a 12 volt power outlet next to the handbrake are two cup holders which illuminate front centre armrest which are made out of leather it is not adjustable underneath is a deep storage area manual dimming rear view mirror the SOS button for emergency use as well as the blue link Front reading lights, grip handle only for the front passenger side, driver's side sun visor without a mirror but there's a card holder there. To summarise this high and star gazes interior, all the controls are not too difficult to use and it is well made with plenty of storage spaces. I don't like the fact that on the instrument cluster that it's not all customisable, they only made the middle part customisable. These seats are decently comfortable There are hard plastic materials on the dashboard as you expect from a car this class Now let's take a look at the rear seats and third row
the rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors, including leather materials here. Cup holder storage, small dot pocket for the rear doors. The rear, the second row seats have captain seats with an armrest on each side. The rear seats do recline as and slide here. They also fold down, which I'm not going to show now. Let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got plenty of leg room and a huge amount of head room. I believe tall people, six footers, would certainly be fine back in terms of second row rear seat space. Door pockets on the right side front seat back. There's also a storage pocket there. Picnic paper only for the left side. An exposed belt storage along with two USB inputs for charging, stargazer floor mat for the rear side, individual armrests, rear interior lamp, rear grip handles on each side, rear AC along with the fan speed control. Now let's check out third row seat, rear seat space. As these seats have captain seats, I'm going to go through here. For third row rear seat space, let me recline it. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a small amount of leg room and a decent amount of head room. I bet tall people, six footers in the third row seat, don't, will not be fine back here. These third row seats are suitable for young children or smaller individuals. On the right side is some storage along with a cup holder, 12 volt power outlet. The left side is the same. These third row seats also do recline. We're going to check out the boot. boot space, the boot is of a good size in this car. Down below the boot floor is a bit of storage. On each side are hooks to hang things on. Down below, the spare tire is located underneath. The front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side except the seat height. This has six airbags. A small storage hidden area. Exposed long piece of storage area there. Glove box which is of a decent size. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video in the future.